Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers today. It is once again Joy Toy Warhammer 40k time. I have my Imperial Fists. They came yesterday, still all wrapped in their cellophane plastic wrap. So uh, there are four. So we've basically seen very similar to this before in the Ultramarines. Example, look at the top. Yeah, it's quite similar. Not exactly the same. But in this really awesome looking yellow colour, which they appear to have pulled off quite well with the shading there. Looks very, very cool. Next up, we've got this, uh, the Imperial Fist Intercessors. Next, we've got this guy with the, uh, looks like a Power Fist. Just a big, <laughs> just a big hammer of a hand, basically. <laughs> looks cool as well. And we have the Imperial Fists Aggressor. Now, we've seen these before, obviously, in the uh, Ultramarines version. See suggested videos. And then the last one here has got a shield. He does look pretty cool too. Now, if you're not done so already, please check out the awesome Action Toys Patreon page. Because you can see the reviews early, extra content which you can't see in a normal YouTube channel. Plus, there is news that is not available anywhere else. Unless you know someone who works the inside some of the... Uh, Tweet companies um so that is worth checking out and you get entries into the raffles that we do an awesome action toy raffles these look pretty cool i've got my trusty very sharp knife i'm going to cut the cellophane unbox these set them up and let's take a look okay here they are released from their plastic and cardboard prisons now the first thing i'll say is i think this is the best paint app that Joy Toy have done on Warhammer 40k. The way they've got that yellow going into like the sort of brown and the uh, inking shading looks fantastic. It really pops a lot more with this colour as opposed to the blue on the Ultramine, Ultramarines or the black and gold on the uh, Chaos or the sort of bluish grey on the Space Wolf. This just looks so, so good. So let's get a close look. We'll go from uh, right to left. So we start with this guy here. Looks really, really cool. Let's get a focus going on. There we go. Very, very nice. You see his power fist here. Looks good, but the power fist, I say, a little bit disappointing. It just looks like a chunk of plastic. Um, I think something more could have been done with that. I mean, yeah, articulate the things. It would have been amazing, but that would obviously put the time up of production and obviously the cost. Colours just pop, looks really, really good. You see how the uh, sort of panel lining goes in there? Fantastic. Now, what's really great about him is you see there's an empty peg there, and you can take this helmet, you can plop that on there. At least you should be able to, in theory. Well, you can, but you might have to heat up the helmet first because that is like quite a tight fit. So you could pop that helmet onto there. Let me try one more time. Please don't break. There we go. And then you could just simply change his head over to his unhelmeted head. And then you've got your Marine. And he's got his helmet on the back there. And the helmet, which is also another nice thing about this helmet, if you take it off, if I take it off again. Is that it's relatively hollow. Obviously, his head wouldn't fit in that. That's tiny, you know. You'd probably get a 124 scale head to fit in that. So that is a nice feature on him. So other than that sort of spare helmet and this alternate head, he also comes his weapon comes with a chain sword, basic but looks good, and you can take off uh, the holster for the gun, or maybe just use this hole here instead of the helmet and you can put this in there if you want instead nice nice looking figure next one so again comes with a chainsaw same one we just saw a moment ago and his pistol is the same too though he does look different I love that sort of way it browns towards the edges there 
looks very very cool he also also has this long larger gun which you've seen before as well a slung over his shoulders got these sling the strap it also comes with this alternate head here sort of terminate terminator -ish. looks pretty damn good and also he comes with this part which you can swap out of another part if you want because I don't believe he has any spare holes on his belt next the aggressor and I did really like the ultramarines versions but this just looks so much better in that yellow looks fantastic no alternate head this helmeted head looks fantastic very very cool the wires and the ammo chain going around the back he just looks, the business looks amazing. And you can see there, when I do articulation, that he's got a shoulder roll as well. The lastly, the Lieutenant, I say that because he's the only one who came with a card. I should say that all of them except for the Aggressor come with alternate hands. Let's put this down slightly. So it comes with a shield and a sword of coloration. Shield's pretty cool. Except for the Imperial Fist logo and all of them, you know, it's just too clean. Like, I know it's, you know, you take pride in your emblem, but, you know, if you're bat even a battle, you expect to be a bit dirty, perhaps. But anyway, looks really good. Shield has still got the uh, weathering inking on the other side. Looks nice. Comes with an empty holster, but you can't put the pistol in there, unfortunately. And the pistol looks like that. Yeah. You can take out the magazine and on these guys pistols you can as well and on this guy's long one there is no magazine to take out so it just stays as it is nice nice beautiful looking figures okay so let's go through articulation I will look at th two of them so I will look at this guy and the aggressor. In fact, three. I'll look at the power fist guy as well. In fact, I'll do power fist guy, one thing on him, then I'll go through to the aggressor. The others will be the same. In fact, I might have to look at all of them. I've just seen the feature that I missed off on the lieutenant. So let's start with power fist guy. So head, left, right, up, down, side to side. Nozzles on backpack to move. Arms, there's no ratchet feel needs, but they go all the way around to the side. He's got, yeah, he's got a shoulder roll, lateral raise. It pops out a little bit too easily. Uh, bicep bend, if the arm is not in the way, incredibly tight. Hand is a uh, double barbell joint. This hand, bicep bend, is about 90 degrees. He's got this big power fist. There's nothing else on the hand here that I can see. He's got trunk turn, small dip, side to side. He's got a waist turn too. Though the sculpting on the things in his legs do get in the way. Hips not that far, unfortunately. Forwards is excellent for the bulk. That's excellent for the forwards. Backwards is tiny. There's a hip turn, thigh twist. Double kneecap, look how tight that is considering his bulk is amazing, but you open up these ugly spaces. There is boot turn, there is swivel, there is a minor tippy turn, not great, and there is a small dorsiflexation, enough to make him fall over. And he also has the toe flexation too. Pretty standard, pretty good. Uh, the other guy we'll look at because his backpack is different, otherwise it's the same articulation. He has a swivel on this top part, which I just unscrewed. And there's some nice details in there as well. Now this was plugged in already, so all the backpacks were. So I'm not sure if it actually, does it come out? Yeah, it comes out. See some details there. So all of their backpacks were actually pre-plugged in. They have to plug them in on these ones. Okay, the guy with the least articulation, the aggressor, but possibly the best looking. So the top, these little missile pods do go up and down. I don't believe they 
turn no the nozzles they do turn head yeah but very tiny because it's stuck inside there's a left and a right he can turn and a tiny forwards backwards shoulders on r these type of strange ratchets he would go all around but then the belt's going to get in the way the other thing is you can see the pauldron is clashing with the uh, backpack there as well uh, outwards there we go not very far there is a shoulder roll though which is welcome bicep bend is 90 degrees there is very good forwards backwards on the trunk or backwards I should say that's amazing small side to side not really a turn waist is a good turn hips not very far because the armor forwards is not bad backwards is impressive super cool in the backwards look at that um thigh twist there's nothing on the hands I should say there's a bicep twist it's a double kneecap but he's got these pipes gets 90 degrees which is okay and then the feet should be boot turn almost non-existent tippy toe okay dorsiflexation and he's got the toe articulation too he's very top heavy but his big feet do help him to balance then his articulation will be the same. The reason I've picked him up is so I just noticed he's got the little control thing on his wrist there. So we can take a look at that. Flip up the switch. You've got all these little buttons there underneath. Flip up the flap, I should say. Very, very cool feature. So articulation is good on these guys. Let's do a little comparison. So what I'm doing is I'm going to boop, 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 boop. Manually zoom out and then I'm going to zoom out as well let's take their accessories to one side it's a bit of space and then we'll space them out and I can zoom in again afterwards and I'll put some more figures there how much space have I got you can fit there okay nope oh, no you want to fall over you want to stay forward okay so first up I will take uh, one of the original Ultramarines releases. I'll stick him next to these guys here since his backpack I showed the beginning is quite similar with the top part there and as you expect they do scale very well or perfectly with each other as you'd expect and you can see joy to being advertised in the top right corner uh, very very cool there next up I will take a big figure from Marvel Universe I'll take Juggernaut you can get a uh, Juggernaut head unmasked. I've got one somewhere here, and that will fit on the uh, Joy Toy figures, I think. You see that he scales perfectly well with them as well, because he's a very big figure, and these guys are big figures. Now, if you want to use a Juggernaut head or a big Marvel Universe head, you're going to have to fill the hole in so it can fit on there in fact it have to set up quite high to work can I get a focus there in fact the head even looks too big it'd work more on the uh, aggressor but the head is big okay, let's put this one back on yeah okay we are done and then I think I will take one more figure. Let's take a Fortnite figure. I will take the new one. I will use a Midas Rex, who is fantastic. He's going to be dwarfed, though he is armoured and holds a sword. But he is an amazing looking figure, especially in this armoured form here. Very, very cool indeed. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm going to pause this and do one more thing. I'll set these up, guys up into an action pose. 
so that easy to pose and we'll close out from there so back in an instant so here they are in action poses this is the first guy here is actually balancing quite well considering he's on his toes and his back leg zoom out a little bit see the aggressor moving on to our last guy with the power fist there easy to pose considering again their bulk some beautiful figures again i think this is my favorite color scheme so far by the uh, joy toy warhammer line and that's mainly because of how the uh inking the shading looks with this yellow the contrast is so so good just looks fantastic Please like, share, subscribe if you've not done so already, and please consider the uh, Patreon. Check out my other videos. There's over a thousand on this channel. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.